Hi my friends, welcome to our favorite channel. Here we will get to know lots of cool and amazing vehicles and be educational for friends. Keep following my storyline in this content. Enjoy watching. Hi my friends, welcome to our favorite channel. Here we will get to know lots of cool and amazing vehicles and be educational for friends. Keep following my storyline in this content. Enjoy watching. The first type of work in the agricultural sector is to become an agricultural engineer. Agricultural engineering is a field of engineering concerned with the design, construction, and repair of agricultural equipment and machinery. Agricultural engineers integrate technology with agriculture. For example, they design new and better agricultural equipment that can work more efficiently or perform new tasks. They design and build agricultural infrastructure such as dams, water reservoirs, warehouses, and other buildings. They can also help design solutions for pollution control on large farms. Aquatic Ecologist the next type of job in agriculture is to become an aquatic ecologist. Aquatic ecology researches and works with water areas and associated dry lands relying on the working relationship between them. It will cover various forms of plant and animal life from the microscopic to the largest. These species work in an interdependent relationship. If one element experiences a sudden increase or decrease in population, it will have an impact on the wider local ecology. They can further specialize in animal species or study microbes that contribute to the environment. Job roles differ from ecologists in that they are more concerned with aquatic freshwater ecology than ecology in general. Their work may include studying the impact of invasive species or habitat loss, the resulting pollution to water bodies and the impact on life forms. They will also have a good understanding of geology and soil analysis, forest health specialist. Meanwhile, various jobs in the forestry sector are as a forest health specialist. A forest health specialist covers several roles that are not part of the responsibilities of other professionals. Primarily, they will be involved in primary research, data collection, compilation, manipulation, and management. They may need GIS or remote sensing skills. Something other forestry professionals may not have or need in their day-to-day -day duties. Therefore, they will spend about half of their time in the office and half of their time outside. Hi my friends, welcome to our favorite channel. Here we will get to know lots of cool and amazing vehicles and be educational for friends. Keep following my storyline in this content. Enjoy watching. Truck a tau for hodo be a dollar sabu a kender on baroda and pat a tau labi and tuk men gonkid baron. 
Truck Juga Dice Bits of Bag I Mobile Bar On Dalam Bendagyan Kessel Mobile Bar On Dice Bits of Bag I Lost Back Truck Bar On Yan Memaliki Three Sumbu One to the Pan Dan Tandem De Belicon Dice Bits of Bag I Truck Tron Dan Untuk Yan De Gunakon Untuk Ankutin Petty Chemis Dalam Bendic Temple And Dice Bits of Bag I Truck Dan Dan Turnipat pool a genus truck tanky young baguno and took men gone could care and say perdi susu, bat and backer, minyak, dan sebagania. Hi my friends, welcome to our favorite channel. Here we will get to know lots of cool and amazing vehicles and be educational for friends. Keep following my storyline in this content. Hi friends, one, excavators. Excavators are manual mining tools that are often used in the mining industry. The main function of this tool is to dig, load and move materials, such as soil, stone, sand and gravel, types of excavators. Hydraulic excavator. This tool is the most common and has very flexible capabilities. Wheeled excavators, equipped with wheels for better mobility on flatter terrain. Excavator advantages. Excavators can dig and load large amounts of material in a short time. This allows high work efficiency at mining sites. This tool can move easily on various types of terrain, including rough and slippery ground. Its ability to rotate 360 degrees allows better access to hard to reach areas. Excavators can be equipped with various attachments, such as a hydraulic hammer, crusher, or rotary digger. This allows the use of excavators for a variety of mining tasks. Find out about the types of excavators and their respective functions in the next article. Bulldozer. A bulldozer is a heavy coal mining equipment equipped with a wide blade at the front. In addition, this tool is useful for digging, transporting and leveling materials such as soil, rocks and debris. Types of bulldozers. Wheel type bulldozer. Equipped with wheels for better mobility on less rough terrain. Chain type bulldozer. Complete with steel chains that provide good traction on rough and slippery terrain. Bulldozer function in mining. Bulldozers can dig and move soil efficiently. Good for building roads, clearing land, or making mining holes, using a knife that is wide enough. The bulldozer can level and compact the soil in preparation for construction while leveling the mining area. Bulldozers can clean and process waste in mining areas, including moving debris or side materials, tip a truck, Dump trucks are one of the types of heavy coal mining equipment that are useful for transporting large quantities of material. Plus, it has a tailgate that you can tilt to dump material where you want it to go. Types of dump trucks. Conventional dump truck has a bed that you can tilt backwards. Off-road dump truck, especially for rough and uneven terrain conditions. With good off-road capabilities, dump truck functions in mining. Dump trucks can transport large quantities of material with high efficiency. The large body capacity allows for significant transport of material in one load. The tilting rear bed of the dump truck allows materials to be dumped easily at the desired location. This will save time in the transportation process and make it easier to refill materials. Off-road dump trucks are equipped with a strong drive system, so they are able to operate on rough and uneven terrain. For Will Loader a wheel loader is heavy coal mining equipment that has a bucket at the front. Apart from that, this tool is usually useful for loading and transporting materials such as soil, stones and sand. Types of wheel loaders. Small wheel loaders, usually useful for small projects and tight areas. Large wheel loaders, designed for large projects and use over large areas. The function of wheel loaders in mining. 
with a wide bucket and large load capacity. Wheel loaders can load materials quickly and efficiently. Wheel loaders have wheels that allow good mobility over various types of terrain. Wheel loaders can be equipped with various attachments, such as pallet forks or material storage sheds. This allows the use of wheel loaders for a variety of tasks in mining activities. 5. Class Students A grader is a type of manual mining tool that is useful for leveling and shaping the surface of the land. This tool is also complete with a knife that you can adjust the height and low to create a smooth and even surface grader function in mining. Graders are useful for compacting and leveling the soil surface in mining areas. This process is important for preparing the construction of roads, runways, or other work platforms. This tool is useful for creating efficient drainage channels in mining areas. This will help avoid water logging which could disrupt mining activities. How my Graders friends, can form the required slopes or slopes Here in mining areas. Here we will get areas. to know lots of this cool will allow and better and vehicles for access the educational for and friends. workers. Keep following my storyline in this content enjoy watching don't forget to subscribe and keep watching my channel and keep supporting this channel so that it grows quickly see you